Hey guys, my name is Jake Antelis. I'm a music producer and mix engineer. And today I have another product to show you from Source Elements called TalkBack. Now what it is, is say you have an interface and there's no built-in TalkBack button. So for instance, if you have a native system and you're basically using a microphone to talk to your talent on an aux track, but it basically doesn't close, there's no functions, it's always on. So like they hear it even when you're talking or mentioning something to another bandmate and if they think it's about them and it messes with the performance. And the best way to communicate with someone that's in another room is to have a talkback that's smart and has functions like closing when you stop or ducking the volume, depending on how you set it. So source talkback essentially is that. It's made for Pro Tools only. And basically what it allows you to do is have built into Pro Tools to talkback. So there's like basically two plugins. There's one that goes on your talkback, which is the aux track that you make, which I'll show you. And that's your microphone input. Since you don't want to record that, you just want it to be live so they can hear it. And then you put one on the master. And basically there's some shortcuts so you can click the talk back button to toggle whether it's open or close. And you could also toggle using the slash key uh, or keep it on latch using the shift plus key. And you can also enable auto in the options menu, which I'll show you. And talk back will essentially close when the transport is running and open when stopped. So 2Q remote control sells a hardware switch for this if you're into it for 355, but you don't need it. It'll work without it, but it's convenient sometimes if you have a large studio. So basically there's some pricing, which is pretty much the same. So if you're running Windows, you can actually use the older version, which will still work, but it won't have an AX plugin. So pretty much if you're running Pro Tools 11 and up, you're gonna want version 1.2, which includes an AX plugin and then Mac OS X compatible. It has the auto mode and you can buy a full license, try a demo and download the software from this link. So which is sourceelements.com slash products slash source talkback slash versions which is a mouthful, so I'll just link it in the description. You can check it out from there. So let's see what it does. So basically our aux track is this, which I labeled TB, and you can make an aux track just by going to shift command N and making an, a mono aux track, which is just essentially an auxiliary track. So it's not gonna record, but it'll let audio pass through. And so that's that. And I set it to input three, which is on my interface, the, the mic I'm talking to right now. And we're gonna put on insert for the aux track, which is uh, if you go into uh, source elements, it's literally labeled exactly what it is. So source talkback aux, so that goes on this channel. And then on the master, you're gonna go into source elements again, and we're gonna insert the master, which is labeled exactly this in your plugins. So basically it, let, it allows them to talk to each other. And let's check out some settings. So this one right here is our aux. And all they're giving you is the option to talk back open or close. And you see they talk to each other. And this bottom one is the master track plugin. So you have the same option here. You can talk back open or close. However, you have the options here. And then you have monitor dim. So if you're playing the audio and you have a talk back and auto enables off, it'll dim the audio so you can so they can hear you but still hear the music in the background. Or if you don't want it like that, what you can do is auto enable to on, which essentially when, when your session is playing, it basically has your mic off automatically. And then when it's not playing audio, your talkback is turned on automatically, which is cool. And of course you can use a shortcut, which I mentioned earlier. So let's turn auto enable on and let's uh, hit play and see if I'm still popping through on this channel here. So I'm talking and talkback is closed and I'm hitting play and talkback is still closed and I'm gonna hit stop and let's see what happens. I'm pretty sure you'll see some level coming in through here and it'll let me talk. So right now, as you can see, we're on the auto mode and it hit stop and my mic opened up automatically. If you don't wanna ever have to worry about turning on and off, that's a cool way to have it. And additionally, we can also turn off auto enable and you could do it manually via the shortcuts or by just hitting either of these and it'll open or close. And again, it's just super handy if your interface does not have a built-in talkback and you find yourself plugging in a channel to your mixer or interface and manually turning it on and off or leaving it on, which I think is a bit sloppy because as I said before, sometimes you could be talking to someone in the control room and it doesn't pertain to the person singing and they might hear it thinking it's about them and either be offended if, if they mishear you or it's best to just not hear talk back unless it's meant to be heard. So yeah, this is a super simple way to get a talk back into your interface. If it doesn't have one built in, you can get it from sourceelements.com products and then go down to source talkback and you could demo it there. Again, this is for Pro Tools only. And yeah, thanks for watching. And if you guys have any other things you'd like to see in future videos, let me know in a comment. If you dug this video, make sure to hit like, 
and subscribe if you're into this kind of stuff. Thanks for watching and have a great day.